The Earth is home to roughly 7 billion people with diverse cultures and languages. But despite our differences, we are all linked by business. We all eat, shop, and dream of owning something. And most of us work. All businesses must have supervisors to function. Supervisors oversee the work of others to accomplish the objectives of the business. They represent both management to the workers and the workers to management. Welcome to Supervision. I'm Jimmy Allen and I'll be your guide through this supervision class. Welcome to the preview, the challenge of supervision. Everybody has been supervised by their parents, teachers, and bosses, but studying supervision is a whole new ball game. Just like in sports, learning to be a supervisor is challenging. There is a sense of difficulty and victory. Challenge is the basis of growth and development for the individual. Some attempts end in failure, but the only failure is one who quits trying. The supervisor is a key person in employees' satisfaction of their basic needs. By his or her efforts toward productivity and efficiency, the supervisor helps make the firm competitive which in turn preserves and creates jobs. As you look at the challenge ahead, you'd like to know how to overcome every obstacle and break through every barrier holding you back, especially if you've never done this before. But people just like you have found that they can learn different techniques of supervision, understand when those techniques are appropriate, and use them to determine the type of supervisor they want to be. In this introduction to the supervision lessons, you'll preview the challenge of supervision. We'll study 12 play-by-plays to get your team to the top. The first play is creating a winning mindset. The second play is preparing a game plan on achievement. The third play is problem solving by turning setbacks into comebacks. The fourth play is organizing for stellar performance. The fifth play is communicating the commitment and passion of champions. The sixth play is turning workplace stress into gridiron success. The seventh play is performing when the chips are down. The eighth play is selecting and training the best. The ninth play is leading and competing at the highest level. The tenth play is being recognized and rewarded. The eleventh play is coaching for success. The last play is helping by keeping a winning attitude. Upon completion of this course, you will have a personal game plan for improving your career. You will become a better supervisor of your own concerns as well as the work of others. In Lesson 1, we will discuss creating a winning mindset. A good supervisor is like a sports team coach who leads the team to victory. The supervisor understands employees and is flexible and adaptable. In Lesson 2, we will examine the function most people consider the most fundamental part of management, planning. What separates the winners from everybody else is a plan, a game plan of how to succeed. A plan is the framework for any company or department. Without it, there is no organization or purpose. Planning is part of every management activities. Winners always have a plan. In Lesson 3, we'll study problem solving, which involves the ability to assess situations in order to come to possible solutions. This requires logical thinking to come to the best approach. 
In this way, we'll turn setbacks into comebacks. In lesson four, we will discuss organizing for stellar performance. Really good supervisors know their weaknesses and they will appoint other people to pick up those weaknesses. In other words, supervisors delegate because they don't think they have to do everything. The team implements the plan. In lesson five, we will study communicating. Team spirit is an extension of the plan. When all members understand and are committed to that plan, supervisors spend at least 80% of every working day in direct communication with others. That's 48 minutes of every hour. The communication process, along with how supervisors can improve their communication efforts, will be discussed. In Lesson 6, we'll discuss managing stress. If an athlete is in a stressful situation, performance, whether in competition or in training, is affected. We will identify appropriate coping strategies for self-management. In Lesson 7, we'll discuss team building. To win big in gambling, you need either long odds or big bets. Bet big and the returns will pour in. Good supervisors let employees know what the rules are and what the boundaries are and rein in those who come close to the limit. In Lesson 8, we will examine selecting and training. Superstars don't go to losing teams. For them to attain new heights of success, they need to join the right environment with the right supporting cast and the right coach to bring out excellence. Supervisors select the right employees for the job and train them. In Lesson 9, we'll examine leadership styles and the characteristics of leaders. In addition, we'll review leadership importance and its association with power and authority. A leader, like a great coach, can change a team from mediocre to one that plays in a style and at a level nobody thought possible. In Lesson 10, we will introduce important ideas about influencing people in organizations. Just like coaches, supervisors can use their insights and principles to get the most from themselves and team members. Good supervisors know how to give praise and reward great work. In Lesson 11, we'll review coaching. The coach and team map out a plan of action and the team implements the plan. Setbacks are turned into learning experiences. A coach will say, what did you learn when you missed kicking the ball into the net? How do we help you visualize it? How do we help you focus? Just like the coach, the supervisor guides the team towards success. In Lesson 12, we will introduce counseling. Just like team members, when employees are highly motivated, they desire to learn and grow. When trust and respect exist, change becomes possible. The supervisor helps employees keep a positive and winning attitude. When you started this preview, you weren't sure how the supervision class would unfold or whether this knowledge would work for you. But with this preview, we've shown you the lessons you'll follow in the supervision course to get the results you want by increasing your knowledge, using your time more effectively, and becoming more confident. Try to relate what you read and discuss to your own real experiences at work, in the classroom, on the athletic field, and at home. You have already been practicing, and perhaps violating, much of what we'll study. What you are about to learn is an extension and refinement of what you already know, a blending of it with the experiences of others. You saw as we previewed the challenge of supervision that first you'll define supervisory concepts, then plan, organize, influence, and finally control.
Try to relate each of these concepts to what you have experienced and read previously. By linking the content of each lesson to that which has preceded it, you will begin to appreciate that supervision is a tapestry with many threads that run parallel to and across one another. Coming up in the first lesson, we'll start studying the role of the supervisor. This has been Preview, The Challenge of Supervision. I'm Jimmy Allen, and I look forward to guiding you each step of the way as you determine your own philosophy of management.